Ho, 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 we must stop meeting in this festive way, but I'm here at the biggest Belen in Lanzarote. Now you might have thought that was me, but it isn't. There is the huge Belen here at the Stratos, which is one of the wine bodegas here in Lanzarote in La Heria. And I'll tell you what, it is stunning. It is the biggest, it is the best. It's actually owned and run by the Princess Ayaza. So I'm gonna show you around this beautiful Belen, not with a D, here in Lanzarote. Let's go and take a look. It is gorgeous. So this place is set right in the heart of the wine regions in Lanzarote. So you're probably gonna need a car to get up here, but there's plenty of parking. And when you pull up, I tell you what, it's so dark, but with the lights, it just looks beautiful. Of course, you start with all the different parts of Lanzarote and the islands with a little nativity thrown in with the baby Jesus there in a cave waiting for the three kings. And I've said before that the three kings are more important here in Spain than Santa himself because they're the people that bring all the presents for the kids on the 5th and 6th of January. Walking through this place is like taking a time machine back to the olden days of the Canary Islands and it really does focus on all the different farming and all the different agriculture and of course camels as well which are big still here on the island. The kids absolutely love running around and having a look. Even Alfie's smiling and with Christmas music playing in the background, it really does make you feel festive. Even Mr. Travelon, the world's biggest Grinch, had a bit of a smile on his face and felt a little bit festive walking around and just looking at these beautiful, small, tiny buildings that have been handmade and all the little characters that they've placed doing all the different things and the farming, even the plants blowing in the wind I tell you what it was like walking through a real village you can see that they show the tiny little brick walls that they build to grow all the grapes for the wine and you can see the camels working hard on all the different people and it really does show how Lanzarote used to be of course they've got a water feature as well with water cascading down the mountains with all your LED UV lights as well it just looks so cool and all the buildings well a lot of the buildings are actual real buildings that you might see around Lanzarote like this one which I think is the the red house that you see in Yaiza village. If you've seen the previous video where I show you the Belen at Yaiza and you see Tim and Fire National Park, well this one's a little bit different because it shows you some of the more rural locations and you can see all the little farmhouses that have been built. You can get actually quite up close with this Belen so you don't have to sort of stand right back and take it in from a distance. Everything is really close to you as you walk around and you can see in the background of the Monumento El Campesino which I'll show you in just just a second. I mean they've even got real cacti and you can see the church and it just shows absolutely everything. Can I tell you what? These lot look like they've been working very very hard. It must have been a good old day's graft back in the day living in the Canary Islands and doing all the farming. What do you reckon? Religion does play a big part over the festive season and Christmas here is not as commercialised as it is back home. Of course the shops are rammed with people buying presents but it is more about the traditions of Christmas and these bellends really do show that up. Of course it wouldn't be complete without an actual exploding volcano as well because we are living on an island with an active volcano up at Tim and Fire National Park but you can definitely get a feel for the old Lanzarote here and how it used to be and the buildings are just spectacular. I honestly reckon you could spend quite a lot of time walking around here and taking in all the details because everywhere you look there's something more to see. Now of course I was filming so I had to get around and show you because we had other places to go to but you really can come up here and spend a good few hours looking around because the whole place is beautiful and you can see with the attention to detail and all the different monuments and moving things you will be blown away for sure. 
As I said, this place is based in the Stratus Bodega in La Heria region of Lanzarote. And this place is open all day. You can come and sample all the wines. Now, if you do want to come here, get here before sort of seven o'clock because the cafe will close. But there is like a restaurant area where you can get a drink and look at what they've done with the trees. All the lights in the trees flashing. You can have a good old look around here. And you can also come for brunch here as well. They do a fantastic brunch on a Sunday morning. Mrs. Travel on has been here a couple of times. So there you go, that was the Belen at the Stratus in La Heria. You can come up anytime, you're probably going to need a car to get here, and don't forget the little restaurant cafe closes at seven. So get here around six and you'll be able to get yourself something to drink and chill out.